Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I hope you guys are all having a great day. So right now, I am going to be re doing my first ever reaction video. So this should be very exciting. I've never done these before, but I plan on doing a lot more in the future. So I hope you guys really like this first one. So this first reaction video that I'm going to do is react to some of the worst commercials of all time. So we're going to... Because I was thinking if I should either do the Try Not To Cringe Challenge or... Try not to, or just react to the worst commercial of all time. But, I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I think I'm just going to react to it and share it with you guys. Like, I have never seen this before. So yeah, before we get started, make sure you guys give this video a huge like, comment down below, and subscribe for more cool videos like this. So let's get, so let's get started. Space, the final frontier. Hi, Captain. You can choose your space with a Serda. And they wonder why cutting the cord is becoming so popular. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top ten. Okay, I have no idea how this correlates. I mean, I thought this was a mattress. I thought they were marketing their mattresses, and what? The worst um, commercials of all time. Wearing your baby seems to be in fashion. I mean, in theory, it's a great idea. For this list, we're looking at those commercials that received I feel like, cool okay, so... After airing due to their low quality, lack of oh, I think we already... Content. Oh, I think... So, I think we already skipped through, like, three commercials. Because one was about mattresses and aliens and... I don't know, something about traveling through time. It's weird in this one. I have no idea what I just witnessed in the past, like, 20 seconds. It's, it's only been 34 seconds. We are moving on. We net generally irritated viewers. Number 10, the Trivago guy. Trivago. Have you ever looked for a hotel online? Did you notice that there's so many prices out there for the exact same room? Well, some may think that he's attractive. We can't help but think that he's a little dirty and creepy. We're, of course, referring to Tim Williams, the man in the Trivago commercials who skipped. Here's viewers down with what looks like malicious intent and talks like he wants to murder us in our sleep. He controls the screen like Tony Stark in hopes of looking futuristic. Or Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't really see anything wrong with it. Maybe, maybe they're talking. I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't see anything wrong with this commercial. But if you guys, if you guys want to leave your opinions about these, about what is going on in the video. About if you guys want to leave your opinions about what about these commercials, then leave it down in the comment section so I can see from your perspective. Because right now I don't, I don't really see what's happening with this one in particular. But let's go to the next one. Pandas, sales G. we have no customers, no sales. We're going out of business. Here we have another Super Bowl commercial, and while it isn't depressing, that doesn't mean it's good. I don't know if you guys play, I don't know if you guys play GTA 5, but there's this, they're in GTA 5, they have these TV shows, where animated TV shows, where they have some of the cringiest animated shows, cartoons, and this is exactly the resemblance that I see, it's, not, I, I guess they're trying to make it as cringy as possible. This, it's as if they're trying to be the worst commercial of all. Sales Genie, which is an online business and consumer lead generation tool, decided that airing a commercial starring pandas with stereotypical Asian accents would be a good idea. But they were sadly mistaken. Wow, look at all these sales leads! Thank you, Sales Genie! The commercial was quickly branded as offensive and racist. So the CEO of Info USA, Sales Genie's parent company, pulled the ad from the air, stating that they never thought anyone would... With something with dental dentures or whatever. I don't know. This one should be interesting. Sponge monkey with Quiznos. Uh, just... We have no idea what Quiznos was thinking when they decided to take on the sponge monkey. Are they trying to go out of Are they trying to go out of business or are they trying to get me to get them subs? Have you guys ever seen Queen Quizmo Quizno subs? If you guys have comments down below. Um yeah. In primates first appeared on the web singing a song called We Like the Moo in a video that went viral. We like the moo. It's as if they're trying to give me nightmares. Uh, uh, 
Oh, there's Brad Pitt. This one should be interesting. I don't see why he would be in the worst show of all time. The worst commercial of all time. Journey ends, we go on. We're really not sure how Chanel managed to mess up a commercial starring Brad Pitt. Inevitable. Pitt may be the first man to promote the perfume on television, but he also did a terrible job of it. Dreams take over. But wherever I go, there you are. The commercial is needlessly dramatic as the whole thing is in black and white. It's like and he's trying so hard to be like serious and dramatic. It's like he's trying so hard to be serious and dramatic. Um, you know how from Jumanji, how The Rock, not just Jumanji, wrestling The Rock, this, this, this pose, the serious pose like that every woman gets turned on by. I don't know. I think that's what he's trying to do. We're trying to be so cool and sophisticated and like... I don't know, trying to get... This is promoting cologne, so why is he trying to... I have no idea. Is he trying to arouse men, or is he trying to act like men will be this sexy, or... I don't know. You're baiting role, man. My luck, my fate, my fortune. It's way too over the top for a simple perfume ad, and the dialogue tries far too hard to be poetic. So naturally, it was parodied and mocked for years. And then dreams wake up and smile at reality. I'm sorry, is there really no script? Because I've, I've been talking to myself for like two hours straight and I'm starting to sound insane. Number two, apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. One of the most notorious commercials ever. Head on. It's like they're trying to be... This guy has lack of creativity. That's all I can say about this Brand name, head on. A cheap and annoying ad got the attention of millions and started an internet phenomenon. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. The commercial simply consists of lines, head on, apply directly to the forehead. But with the worst catchphrase of all time, too. Not only is this painfully annoying, but no other information is known about the product, leaving viewers both irritated and confused. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply to the forehead. Get thing out. Hey, my eyes. Get Mattel's new baby secret. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper said, it's not for women. Why are they freaking out? Mm, I guess they're, I guess they're trying to be sexist or something and that triggered the feminist group and now all the women are mad and that's why it's the top worst commercials of all time. Not sure. I could be wrong. Not that I'm against anything. Kmart. What was that? That is. Just, I zoned out in the first time. The second part, I was like, "What the world was I listening to?" This, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know why the kids are watching. This should be demonetized. And yeah, now I see why that's the worst. I don't know, it's weird. The moaning, what's with that? It's just not even cheering. It's more like, I don't know, weird. This is awesome. Six months ago, Selena tested her relationship with Justin using the love calculator. She just sent the word honey, her name Selena, and her partner's name Justin to 75555. Number one, baby song. Love. Nah, it's well, I think that's pretty much the end of the video here. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I was a bit rusty because because I'm just I'm new to this and this is kind of like catching me off guard a little bit. Like I'm trying really hard to like hurry up, come up with something as I'm watching this, you know, like trying to keep with the flow. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll get better as the reaction videos go. But I kind of liked it. It was pretty interesting reacting to some of the worst commercials of all time if you guys comment down below if you've ever seen a horrible commercial or what did or comment down what you guys thought of this these different commercials and if you guys like them well obviously you wouldn't like them because they're the worst but which one you guys thought was the best um like the least worst commercial you've ever seen in this video and yeah if you guys want to see more cool reaction videos comment down below subscribe and give this video a huge like and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.